What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 29, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and let's start off the day by going over some brand new pokemon go news and as you guys know today the Hoenn event will end and the gen 4 legendary pokemon palkia will now be available in the game as a level 5 raid boss the legendary water dragon pokemon palkia will be in the game until february 28th so we're going to be having the whole month of february to hunt this legendary down let me know what pokemon you're going to take on your hunt to these raids and also your thoughts on adding palkia to your pokemon decks now again while we're talking about pokemon go let's talk about the brand new patch that popped up on the google play store and most likely is going to roll out on the apple app store in a few days this patch will bring the game up to version 1.101 it adds a quite a few quality of life features so let's just jump in and go over them quickly and now shows the status of moves in trainer battles on the pokemon screen it has moved the button to obtain a second move below the evolutionary button the image for the team leaders when appraising pokemon has been updated 12 more spin the variants has been added to the game and some new moves has been found by charles as you guys know that probably going to be rolled out via community days in the upcoming months so again nothing too major has rolled out with this update just a few little quality of life stuff regardless let me know your thoughts on these updates and what you think is the best part of this brand new little update so moving on to the next topic the ev tamagotchi has been discontinued in japan this is coming from nintendosoup.com who has also confirmed with japanese distributors who says there are no plans to take further orders of this ev tamagotchi which is kind of surprising considering that this evx tamagotchi is one of the largest tamagotchi releases in japan evx tamagotchi sold out in less than 15 minutes as many japanese retailers during the pre-order period last year so if you're looking to grab one you might want to do it right now before the prices of resellers hike up or even realtors realize that they're not going to get any more and jack up the price because they are going to be discontinued i'm not a huge tamagotchi guy now back in the day when i was a kid i had both the pikachu walker yellow you know walking tamagotchi and then i also had the pokey walker that came with heart gold and soul silver so i had that as a tamagotchi but not really one of these you know hardcore feet clean up poop tamagotchis while this ev1 kind of looks cool i would want it and get it for collection purposes and probably just leave it in the box and never touch it but i'm going to skip on it right now because again it's not something i need 100 percent it's just something i would want as a pokemon collector and let's end off the day with a bit of history today is the 15th anniversary of pokemon fire red and leaf green now this is the first ever remakes to the series introducing us to leaf and being the first ever g GBA game to use the wireless adapter. Of course, this being the first remake of the first Pokemon games, which I love, was kind of easy falling in love with to see Gen 1 remated in a brand new Gen 3 engine. Let me know your thoughts, of course, of these beloved games and have you ever played them before? And how do they rank overall in your favorite Pokemon games in the series? To me, they're very close up high. They're definitely top five because of the fact that I'm, you know, I'm a Gen 1 guy gen 1 helped me through a lot of stuff in my life especially pokemon yellow pokemon yellow is my favorite game of all time so obviously red blue fire red and leaf green are close second just because you know pokemon yellow is the definitive version of that game let's go pikachu let's go eevee while are great games by themselves i don't kind of categorize them in the same like if i had to choose which one i would want to play forever i would obviously choose the original pokemon yellow game over the let's go games but if i had to choose 
choose Fire Red and Leaf Green over Let's Go. I think I would choose Let's Go over Fire Red and Leaf Green, even though Fire Red and Leaf Green do have a lot of stuff going for them and are amazing games. So let me know your thoughts on Fire Red and Leaf Green in the comment section below. So that's going to be it, guys, for today's Pokemon News Daily. Let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we went over today from Palkia entering level 5 raid bosses to this brand new Pokemon Go update that is rolling out with these little quality of life features and also this EV Tamagotchi are you did you get your hands on one when it released earlier in Japan or are you one of those people like me who don't really care about the Tamagotchi series but it's very sad to see it being discontinued because again it was a huge seller it did very very well but it doesn't seem like Nintendo or the Pokemon company want to continue making these Tamagotchis in the future so let me know your thoughts on all the topics that we went over today peace I love you guys I'm gonna see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.